everybody and welcome to my channel every day with Jackie if this is your first time here welcome go ahead and pause the video and hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you're aware every time that I upload a video and for those of you that are returning it's good to see you as always today's video is all about playing in these new products that I hauled while quarantining so some some of the products are new but some i've used before but maybe not very often so if you want to see how i created today's look and i'll just give you a little sneak peek if you want to see how i was able to create this look today then you'll have to keep watching so today's video, I am going to be testing out some new products that I have not used. Some I have used before, but the most, the majority of them I have not. So I thought in this video that we would go ahead and test out some of these new products that I got in. And yeah, that's what this video is all about, trying new products. So I'm going to tell you um, right off the jump what products that I'm going to be using because I think I'm going to put this video to music so that way I can edit it down and it won't be so long. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you the products and so you'll know automatically what I'm using and I'll also list them down in my description box, okay? So first up, I am going to be trying out the new Alma Beauty Foundation and this is the Brown Sugar T2C. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder, and this is in Deep Peach. I have used this before, but I'm using it again today, and that's the Alamar Cosmetics. Um, this is their Blush Trio. I thought I would also go in with my Sephora Pro. This is their face palette. I'm going to be using the Hourglass Face Concealer. This is the Vell Mineral Primer. I'm going to try to set my under eyes using this Translucent Powder by Hourglass. I'm also going to use the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Foundation. And this is the uh, brown sugar T2. Ooh. I've used this before. And I thought I would go in with the Barbados highlighter. This is from the Black Girl, I mean, not Black Girl, but Black Magic Carnival collection. And this is in the shade Barbados. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty. Baby, what it do? face spray and I am going to be trying this beauty blender and for my eyeshadow today I am going to go in with this Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival Palette don't know what I'm going to do but I am going to use this palette today. And that's as far as I've gotten. <laughs> with, as far as I know what I'm going to be using today. So let's just go ahead and get started.
Okay, you guys, so this is the final look for me today. Um, I'm going to recap all the products that I used, um, some new, some old, and give you my thoughts on them. Um, I'm just grabbing them. I used the Fenty Beauty What It Do, and this is a travel size, and this is a makeup refreshing spray. So I do like this. I already said that in another video. I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, setting powder, and this is in Deep Peach, and I really like this. I think this uh, went in very nicely on the skin. Um, it added just a little color to my foundation, but not much at all, so I did really like this a lot. Um, the Oma Beauty Foundation. To be honest, when I went in with this foundation, I was a little scared. To me, it looked a little orange on my skin. And I was like, uh oh, I got the wrong shape, but it just settled in nicely. So um, I do like the way it's wearing so far. I'm not doing a wear test on it or anything, but again, this is the Brown Sugar Tea 2. And like I said, I thought it was really orange initially, but I think it uh, just settled in nicely. So I think this is a good shade for me. And so far, I like it. I went in with my Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. This is not a new product to me, so I think it gave great pigment to the eyeshadow that I have on, and it went on smoothly. The shadows went smoothly across. However, I do not know about the Hourglass Powder. Um, this is the Veil Translucent Setting Powder, because I I did notice that I had a little patchiness right here, and then right in here, my eyeshadow was kind of skipping a little bit. I'm not gonna say it's a powder yet. I'm gonna try it again. It could have just been that the eye primer wasn't fully dried, so I'm not sure about this. This eye seemed to be perfectly fine. I just noticed that I had just a little patchiness right on the other eye, so again, it's probably not the powder because like I said, I think it went on perfectly fine on this other eye, so we're gonna use this again and just to be sure, but I'm sure it was probably me. Um, I used the NYX or NYX Professional Makeup. This is a slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on, waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. <laughs> and this is the shade right here. And this is um, in Purple Blaze. It says SL16 Purple Blaze. And I, I do like this. It did glide, glide on really smoothly and it had great color payoff. I wasn't sure that the purple was gonna show up really well, but it did. And I'll move in closer towards the end of the video. I used the Hourglass Veil Primer for my face, and this is not a new product to me. I've used this before, and I do like this a lot. I used my Beauty Blender. Was Couldn't wait to use it. So I used my Beauty Blender. I will say that I like the Beauty Blender, but it is not as soft as my Color Rain sponge. And that's just the truth. My Color Rain sponge is so soft and so uh, fluffy. And again, let me push you guys out. I'm not sure if you can see. But again, this is a good sponge, but I like my, I prefer my Color Rain sponge over this Beauty Blender for sure. And let's see. Oh, and I've used this before, the Alamar. Cosmetics, the Blush Trio, and this comes in Deserted, Oasis, and Candela are the shades. And I went in with this middle blush right here, which is Oasis. And you guys already know I had this in one of my favorites. I like this blush palette a lot. I also used for the first time the Sephora Pro palette. And of course, you know, because I wanted to use some of my other products on deck, but I do like this palette. It has a little kick up, but you know, that's okay. You can see right here, it has a little kick up, but this contour went on really nicely. I used this as a bronzer. I wanted to go in and use some of the other colors, but I just wanted to be able to use some of my other products as well. But you know, I will be coming back to this face palette for sure, because I really like the bronzer. I like everything I used in the palette. So 
So far, this palette is a win-win. Nothing bad to say. I, I think everything played out really well using that palette. For my mascara, I use the Mile High Club. This is by Wonder Beauty, and it says that it gives volume and length. So I use this. This is not a new product. For my eyeliner, I went in with ColourPop, and this is the Two Lips. Um, not eyeliner, but lip liner. And again, this is not anything new. I went in with my Milani. This is in the shade 15, the Ultimate. And I just thought this would go good with the eye look. I went in with the Alma Beauty Stay Woke Foundation. And again, this is the Brown Sugar Collection T2. And the foundation says Brown Sugar T2. So I did it again, same as Pat McGrath, got the same but they did not go on the same. I felt like this concealer was a little bit more bright, brighting. It gave me a little bit more brightness underneath my eye. So even though these are supposed to be the same shades, I the concealer played out a little lighter under my eye and I was so happy about that. I've got to be more careful in the future because I let other, I let the Alma Beauty site pick the foundation and I went in the store and swatched the concealer. So I don't know, but it worked out fine. For my lashes, I am still using my Kiss lashes. And these are the 60483KFL01. And it says that it, it's the natural effect lash. And I use this Alma Beauty. Um, this is again Black Magic Carnival. This is a, a collection, and this is in the shade Barbados. So, this was my first time using this, and I really do like this. Um, it's so big. This I can't imagine I will ever run out of this. So, this is a good shade for me. And again, I like the I like the color of it. And I think last up, we're going to talk about this palette. I did not know what I was going to do. This palette is huge. I did not know what eye look I was going to do. I was so confused. So I just went with it. I did not swatch the palette, of course, but um, there's just too many darn shades to try to swatch. But I will go ahead and I swatched the three that I knew I was going to use, which is... Wasted, Back Chat, which is kind of that, this bluish one, and also Orchid, this one. So um, you've already seen those swatches. I'm going to swatch just a few more, but as I use it, I'll continue to uh, do swatches for you guys, but there's just too many. There's 40 shades. I can't swatch 40 shades. So let's see, I'm going to swatch um, Peppermint, this one right here. I'll swatch Cargo, which is this pretty green. Um... I will swatch Temptation is another one that I wanted to go in with. Temptation is this one right here. Oh, that's pretty. I should have used that one too. Um, I will swatch Valentine because I thought about this, this one. And I will swatch Make Waves. That's this one right here. Look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. Now I will have to, I to be honest, isn't that something to be honest, I have not done my homework on this palette as far as 
you know, which ones are shimmers, if there's any pigments. I'm assuming there's definitely pigments in here. So I will leave that information in the description box. Um, because, like I said, this is a huge palette. And I'll get more information on it as I go. Oh, we do have some little highlighters on the side here. So I'll swatch those. This one is called Over It. The next one is called Gold Lux. This is what this one looks like. And then we have Fair Play. Oh no, I thought this was gonna be like almost white, but oh, okay. That's kind of like a yellow gold. So these are the three highlighters in the palette. So I do, you know, I thought the palette was very pigmented. I like the way it applied on my eyes. Um, it says, okay, so on the back it says a dazzling carnival of colors that includes 30 vibrant matte shades and 10 high pigment shimmers and three highlighters and shimmers. So there are pigments in this palette. It doesn't say you know, which ones are pigments, but I'm assuming the wasted shade, the purple, I'm assuming that that is definitely a pigment. And that's the one I use in the outer corner and underneath my eye line or my waterline. So again, I'll leave, I'll go onto the site and see if I can find more information on, you know, which shades are the pigment ones and, you know, just see what I can do to give you more feedback. But I do like this palette a lot. Like I said, I went in not knowing what eye look I was gonna create. So I sat here a while before I even came on camera. I was looking at it and so finally I said, let's just, let's do it. So I do hope that you guys like the look that I was able to create today. Just knocking everything over. And I'm gonna bring you in just a little closer so you can see right here. You guys saw my eyes are just really watering, but here is the eye look for today. And again, I hope you like it. I try my best. I try really hard, you guys. So I hope um, I came off what they looked at as appealing to the eyes and that you guys really liked. Um, I do like it a lot and I wasn't sure, but like I said, I'm, I'm pleased with it and I hope you guys are as well. So that completes the look that I have for you today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you'll know each and every time that I upload a video and share the channel because you know I don't mind. And lastly, please know that you guys are always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everybody and have a great evening. Bye.